It's not just underperforming members of cabinet whose jobs might be on the line. USVI Governor Albert Bryan Jr. reiterated his hardline approach to a government service many residents have griped about for years and decades, promising on Thursday night that there would be, quote, changes all across the board. Appearing on the season three finale of Press Box, the newly re-elected governor said that he was prepared to ask not only commissioners, but directors and people who perform, quote, rank and file jobs. It's like, you know, I have to work twice as hard because my coworker ain't doing what he's supposed to do, or I don't get the materials I need. That's the kind of accountability I'm really talking about because there's too many people in the line that just get jumped over and gets a pass because it's okay if the end is the governor's fault. You know, we got to be accountable all the way down the line and all the way up. And then, you know, we're going to get it done. I only have four years. Mm. It's, I'm not going to be gentle about it. It's time for, for results. The Department of Property and Procurement was Brian's first area of focus. He told viewers on Thursday night that he would, quote, gut out procurement because, according to him, it takes too long to get projects off the ground, partly because the department has failed to provide tools to contractors in a timely manner, a circumstance he believes has contributed to major delays in the construction of JFL North. I try my best to let the people who have the expertise do what they need to do, right? So I respect the sanctity of boards. They were constructed that way because they didn't want a governor just telling everybody what to do. And I try to respect that as sometimes much as Sometimes you got to do that, though, governor. But sometimes you have to do that. But when you do that, you know what you do? You give everybody a pass, accountability again, because now you're saying you're responsible for it. Mm -hmm. So if it don't work right, the governor is responsible for me. And I'll, that's what a lot of us want to do, right? We want to be able to pass on the responsibility for that, set it up to government house, let them make a decision. No, you need to make a decision. As for operations at the 1F Louis Hospital, Brian noted that some workers there needed to go as well so that his government could employ people who were committed to get, getting things done on time. I try to be, remain unemotional about things. I just get frustrated uh, with stuff because it's a lot, you know, I, I have a job to do and I end up doing everybody's job. You know, I do WAPA job, I do a waste management job, I do a hospital job. You know, those places are supposed to be run by individuals who make a, a crap load of money and they report to a board. I don't want to resort to a situation where I am willy-nilly just controlling everything that goes on in the Virgin Islands because, number one, that doesn't, that's not inclusive. You don't have other people's position. And the people who are expert, I'm not an expert at building any hospital or running a hospital, so I have to listen to the people that we have. But, you know, we got some people mixed in there that need to go. They've been in trouble for a long time, and I'm going to take care of them. You bet your dollar, dollar about that. Shakeups in the boards of the Government Employees Retirement System, Public Finance Authority, and the hospitals are also on the cards, according to Brian. The governor said board members will no longer be allowed to operate as if they were laws unto themselves and continue to disrupt agency operations because of their own motives. Brian announced his intention to expand his executive order to give more autonomy to chief executive officers to extend their spending and signing limits. You dare on the board to represent the governor. You get on the board and you think you got all your mind on your own, you want to do what you want to do, you want to be disruptive, you want to question everything the person before you do. You know, your job is to provide broad policy and guidance, not to nitpick every single um, thing they do. So one of the things I'm going to be doing is expanding by executive order all of the powers of all our CEOs, right? So that they're spending, signing limits, everything. I'm pushing for that. You, you, you know, a project for $250,000 is nothing now. I can't wait to get board approval on a $250,000 project when I have $10 billion of projects to do. So giving more autonomy to the CEOs is going to be a push, push for me and then holding them accountable to it. Albert Bryan Jr. was re-elected as governor on Tuesday following a gubernatorial election, which cemented his legacy as a two-term leader.